Hey you guys. I'm usually a Photoshop guy, but I just started recently using Procreate. And I'm going to show you how I'm setting things up in Procreate coming from Photoshop. Now, from what I understand, a lot of you guys are drawing... You have your design over top of your model, or your photo of your client. Um, and you may... I have seen a lot of people using black. I also see a lot of people taking a multiply or something like this and fading it down. The problem with that is you get all this, these sort of warmer tones in here. They're pretty inaccurate. I'm going to show you how to do something a little bit more like this. See, I got that cooler, more accurate, gunmetal-y kind of color. Um, and also how to keep your layers uncluttered with, you know, if you keep masking, masking each new layer, you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff over here. All right, now back to our main, main picture that we're going to be working on here. So, take your skin and actually put it up top. And I'm going to actually return the opacity to 100% on the design section. Make sure that your skin is set to multiply so that you can see it. Otherwise, it's going to be... you're not going to see anything. Duplicate it. Change this new top layer to lighter color. And this is important. This is actually going to be your tattoo skin. To get that effect, you're going to come down to hue, saturation, brightness. Bring down the brightness. Oh, you see it already happened in here. Turn down the saturation. And I'm actually, I like to put a little bit of blue into it. Let's turn that saturation down a little bit. Just, just a touch so it's kind of off gray. All right. So now anything that you draw underneath here, you see it's going to be the correct color. But we have all this overhang out over here. And you know, if you know anything about masking, well, this is what a mask is really fast. It's, it's just something that you use to cover up all the areas that you don't want to show, be showing paint. Um, so instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a clipping mask. And that's something that goes underneath down here. Get it? Make sure that this is selected. Go to your selection tool. Select all of the outside area that you can fit within reason. Invert that. You can work on it later. Make a new layer. Select your white. And then fill that sucker in. You're going to want to turn off your selection tool and drag this down to the bottom. Now, you still got that overhang, but this is where it changes. Come to the, your, your design, click on Clipping Mask. Now everything outside of that will not show up. One last thing I wanted to show you guys was something that, that I got into the habit of doing from working with this top-down layer and structure in Photoshop, and that is drawing with white. A lot of times we'll make a new layer if we don't want to screw up something that we like. But if you draw with white in the white in this new layer, it'll act exactly like a mask or an eraser. It's very useful, very cool. You can do some pretty cool things with those, with it being linked in that sort of way. Um, yeah, and again, if you want this to make sure that this is trimmed nice and neat around here, just turn on your clipping mask and make sure that these cascade downward all the way to your clipping shape. That's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.